Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? All right, listen. This is some really cool stuff, okay, that I found. And I was just like, oh my God, this is going to be like Deep Impact or Night of the Comet. No, I'm kidding. But listen, there's an icy visitor from the far reaches of the solar system <laughs> that is expected to shoot past Earth, okay, and the sun in the next coming weeks. And it might be vis visible to the unaided human eye. But if you have a telescope, seriously get that thing out okay because this visitor from afar is a comet that is believed to have to have brushed by earth before like 50,000 years ago <laughs> i know it is like what so it's it was discovered in march of 2022 and the comet recently passed within jupiter's orbit and is heading for the inner solar system and the flyby it'll be witnessing the flyby soon to occur could be like a once in a lifetime astronomical occasion so this is going to be neat now it has been dubbed c slash 2022 e3 ztf and the comet displays a greenish like colorish you know like orbish you know and the nebulous envelope surrounding the comet's nucleus and a yellowy tinged tail of dust and ion particles and initially showing a stellar magnitude of 17 when it was discovered and according to earth sky its website C-2022 E3ZTF's brightness will increase as it approaches the sun as the frozen matter of a comet's nucleus sublimates when exposed to solar radiation, sometimes causing a spectacular green glow. I know, do, 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 do. And the comet reached its perihelion, and that's P-E-R-I-H-E-L-I-O-M. It's closest distance from the sun and currently shines with a magnitude of 7.4. Now, the lower an object's magnitude, the greater its brightness. And its magnitude is expected to increase to 5 or 6. And the range visible to the naked eye next month when it reaches its closest distance from Earth. And I have pictures of this thing and it's balls to the wall so with dark skies and minimal moonlight or even street light this comet might be seen without binoculars or a telescope but still get them out on that on this night okay so however comets are notoriously unpredictable so it could be even brighter so here's some pictures of it Now, typically, as comets near the sun, they are drowned out by sunlight and banished from sight. But unlike other comets, this guy, its tra trajectory presents great geometry for viewing from Earth, appearing slightly past midnight over the next coming weeks. And it will stay visible despite its proximity to the sun. And this holds true for stargazers in the northern hemisphere, at least. And originally appearing in the north, the comet arced uh, northwest to southwest and then seemed to loop as our vantage point on the Earth changed while we orbited the sun. And the comet then shot northward in early uh, October, vanishing entirely from view for comet watchers in the southern hemisphere. And this comet is currently careening toward the northern crown and by month's end will have neared Polaris, all the while getting brighter and closer to the sun, or to the earth rather. And it will become visible to viewers south of the equator again in early February when it pops above the northern horizon. And the comet will reach uh, its closest distance from Earth on February 2nd. And you can find it tra transiting um, 
in between the constellations Draco and Camelo Paradalis, and that's C A M E L O P A R D A L I S. And that's just south of Polaris as it travels in a retrograde orbit, which is the opposite way of Earth's orbit. And it will move very, very quickly. Try, try to spy it with your naked eye. Otherwise, use a pair of like really good binoculars. And as for the, the size of this thing, its nucleus was measured to be about one kilometer across. And it's relatively small compared to the more famous comets, such as Neowise, which was uh, in 2020. More fam famously is Halebop, appeared in 1997, exhibiting a diameter of 60 miles or 37 kilometers. But this one lacks in size. It compensates for closeness. Now, having that the the fact that it reached its uh, per, perihelion today, uh, the comet now lies roughly 103 million miles from the sun. When it grazes by Earth on February 2nd, it will be 27 million miles away before it swerves outbound toward the uh, outer solar system once again. And this is the first time uh, said comet has entered our solar system since the upper Paleolithic period, which was 50,000 years ago. And scientists say it could be permanently ejected once it makes its departure from the solar system. But before we bid farewell, it offers an encore. It really does, particularly uh, for the first time comet spotters this presents a great sighting opportunity on February 10th when it will appear extremely close to Mars. And you can try uh, like taking like a long exposure photo for about 20 to 30 seconds, which might yield like a fuzzy tailed object beside like a rust red planet, right? And as for this comet is headed, uh, you know, for where it's headed, uh, you know, it, it, the comet is believed to originate from the Oort, which is O-O-R-T cloud. Uh, it's a theoretical vast sphere that surrounds the solar system and which is inhabited by a mysterious icy objects. Now, as for the comet's name, there is a story behind it. It was first discovered during a survey on March 2nd, 2022 by astronomers Bryce Bolin and Frank Maskey, M-A-S-C-I, using um, the Zwicky, Z-W-I-C-K-Y Transient Facility, or ZTF, located at Mount Palomar in Southern California. It's named denotes the facility where it was discovered and the year is of its discovery obviously 2022 and that it was the third such object found in the year's fifth half month so a b c d e hence c 2022 e3 ztf <laughs> okay so i hope that explains all that for you guys i'm just ecstatic i love astronomy and you know all the solar system and stuff it just it's fascinating to me all right guys i'll see you in the next one all right you stay safe you stay positive you keep prepping and as always fearless ciao